Hey What's guys. good guys? Welcome back to our channel. So one of our subscribers requested that we have to don't make these mistakes in the Philippines. So I guess every country in the world has some things you have to learn about them, like some some principles, some cultural standard things you need to know mm -hmm. about the place so you don't go there and do it. Because for example, I was watching one um one video about some things that they are normal in a particular place, but when you go to another place, it's totally, it means something else, mm -hmm. like totally different. So it's always nice to know these things before and before you go to the, to the country course. to learn it. Not so I think it's going to be an interesting video. Not to repeat it and not be like, oh my goodness, why did I do that, you know? All right, let's get started. I spent three weeks in the Philippines, and only about a week of that was actually spent on beautiful islands like all the ones that we see in pictures. I did my research, I watched all the YouTube videos, I read all the blogs about where to go and what to do, and yet we still had so much trouble. We even started questioning ourselves, are we doing something wrong? Why is it so hard to find a nice beach in a country made up of 7,000 islands? Now don't misunderstand me, we did still have an amazing time. But all the mistakes we made could have been avoided if there was more information made available that wasn't just, oh my gosh, the Philippines is paradise. It is paradise, but you need to know where to find it. And once you do, I promise you, you'll never want to leave. Wow. I mean, no matter how many times I see all these beach, all the waterfalls and everything, it's always just... I feel like friends so are popular. So how do we you know? find no, 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 these mistakes. Number one, fly to Manila, Cebu, or Puerto Princesa and then immediately leave. Unless you're looking for the city life, which can be great as well, leave. Head to the beach. That's why we went to the Why is everybody the always saying leave, leave, leave? Why not just explore what is there as well? Tip number two, avoid the taxi scams. Obvious. I think most oh, of us yeah. know this, you should turn do the meter that. on. But if you're new to Asia, something you might not know is that taxi cabs here love to refuse people. If it's not going in their desired mm. direction, or maybe it's too far or even too close. So here's a tip. If Pardon. the cab is refusing to take you for whatever reason they have, and this happened to Jordan and I, with seven taxi cabs late at night in Cebu, refused to take us, and so what we did was when the eighth one came, we just opened the door, we got in, we sat down, we pulled up our map and said, hey, we're going to our friend's house, take us here, we know where we're going. And then he went. Tip number mm -hmm. three, avoid the crowded tours. Everywhere you go, the locals will tell you that to go to this island or to go snorkeling, you need to take a tour or go on a private boat. This is true. However, when you take these tours, you're either going to be offered the ultimate tour, the island hopping tour, all these Abundance I don't really like all these uh, likely, tour with other people. You won't get to be free. Everybody's going to be on your you way. You stay in the different spots for snorkeling and islands for about 30 minutes maximum. And then you're off to the next destination. Which is so really you don't even have enough time. You don't really mm -hmm. want to be rushed. And you don't want to be crowded by all these people. You want a relaxing experience. Or you can take the make other any nice photo. A lot of people just this there. private boat, depending where you're at, especially in Corona or El Nido, can be very expensive. I'm talking as much as 7,000 pesos or even heard 15,000 pesos if you got majorly ripped off, wow. which does mm. happen. But maybe you're traveling alone or you're not staying in a hostel, so you can't really gather up a group of people to split the cost of the private boat. So you have to pay that in full. If you're like us, that wasn't really achievable. It's definitely not in our budget, and it didn't even sound appealing to us. So what we did instead was we found a place kind of more off the beaten track, an area called San Vicente, and this actually offered all the same things except no people and only 3,500 pesos for two wow. people to have a private boat. And it and was It's amazing. even private. You don't get to share with anyone. Here we have the same things mm. that you would do in any other tour, except that They're there were no people. We got to take our time doing whatever it is we want. And it was honestly the best snorkeling of this entire trip. Honestly, this looks like a swimming pool. It's that clear. You see the <laughs> reflection off the water. Wow. You can see the it's so water clear. Oh my God. And it's not that deep. I 
Ya sen ne istedin? They look like sardines. Can't you see? earlier you would think in a country made up of islands there would be white sand beaches everywhere you go right they told us that these would be white sand beaches they're not and likely you're gonna stay in these small towns that is nowhere near these nice beaches unless you can afford to stay on the islands which is pretty pricey even for the Philippines then you're gonna really? have to take a boat or you're gonna have to do a private boat or you're gonna have to do a tour island hopping for example and again you are going to be on a timer you do not get to decide how long you're going to stay on that island before you go to the next one and the next one and the mm. next one even if they're pretty oh. sometimes you just want to relax right at least for us personally mm -hmm. we just wanted to wake up to a nice beach and have it essentially entirely to ourselves <laughs> but to look like all the pictures and we finally found that of course at the end of our trip and again, in this area called San Vicente, we stayed in an Airbnb where we woke up to this beautiful beach. And on top of this beautiful beach to ourselves, we got to go to an even more beautiful beach when we wow, took our private tour empty. and found the most beautiful <laughs> island, I think, that we discovered on our entire trip. No, that was exactly that. what we wanted. It is so nice out. Oh my gosh. Beach, oh, nice food. What is the unit? Is San Vicente. No, that is just nice where partner. Jordan and I personally found what we were looking for and got it away from all what? these crazy tourists and people. So, you know, other areas like this exist. I mean, the Philippines is made up of islands. So, I recommend if you want to find kind of more relaxation and, you know, beautiful islands to yourself, to look for smaller areas and places a bit more off the beaten track, maybe close to a big mm. popular destination, but maybe a little bit out of the ways from it. That's what we mm. did, and actually, San Vicente is not too far away from El Nido and Puerto Princesa, which is where most people will go. Mm. It's just a little bit farther out, so you know you can find other areas so, like this. The last thing that I want to talk about that so is an obvious clear. one, but it's Pretty very stalking. important, is number five, travel That's in crazy. groups. I realize this isn't really possible, especially if you're a solo traveler, and this can be difficult, but the Philippines, like any other country, has its dangers, and these dangers can be found off the beaten path and can be found in the most touristy destinations of that country. Unfortunately, hmm. I fell victim to one of these dangers when somebody slipped something into my drink. I wasn't out drinking, I wasn't even at a bar, I was at a cafe when this Why happened, do that? and all of a sudden, I was sitting down, we had moved to a restaurant, and I could no longer read the menu. I immediately lost my appetite and everything kind of got strange. I felt like all of a sudden the room was spinning, kind of like a fan would, and it just started spinning faster and faster and faster and faster and faster until I was just losing my mind and I knew something was severely wrong and so I kept telling my friend Jordan like, I'm not okay, I'm not okay, like you might need to call an ambulance. Imagine like, if you were alone. Thankfully, because I was there oh, with my good friend Jordan, I had somebody who could take care of me and I had somebody who could put me into the tricycle and take me back to the Airbnb where I would be safe. If she wasn't there, honestly, I don't know where I would be today. Now, as I said before, these oh. things happen everywhere, but the Philippines is still fairly new to lots of tourism and might be a bit of a higher risk. That doesn't mean that the Philippines is unsafe. It is still safe to travel. It just means that you should be a bit more cautious. Be careful. And I recommend Every time you should be careful. try to travel in groups mm -hmm. or at least use the buddy system, especially when you're out at night. Now, I don't want to leave this vlog on a sad note. So let's talk about one of the best things, one of the highlights of this entire trip. And that was at this Airbnb in San Vicente. Mm -hmm, this nice Airbnb friend. was just exactly what we wanted. It was on the beach and the people there were so <laughs> generous and they yeah, really us really having fun. They just, they treated us like family. So apparently our Airbnb is throwing Jordan and I a welcoming party for our first night. Let's go mm -hmm. check it out. Wow. Wow. <laughs> 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 this is when they say don't play with fire. 
Ich bin ja blöd und frei. <lacht> Das war der erste Mal, dass ich es live gesehen habe. Das war wirklich schön. Ja. Das war das erste Mal, dass ich sie selbst gesehen habe. Das war das erste Mal, dass ich sie selbst gesehen habe. Aber das ist nicht es. Sie haben uns gelernt, wie sie feiern. Feiern ist eine Art. Es ist eine Art, wirklich. Und es ist wirklich schön. Weil je mehr du die Feuer liebst, desto mehr schön kann sie machen. Also, das war es. She would just burn herself a lot. She just burn her hair and everything. No, no. No. Oh my god. Okay, she's getting it now. She can play like this, but with fire she cannot. She cannot be too fast. That's how you learn. You to go from nothing to with fire. You just have to not be scared. Open up your eyes. So not be scared. But I didn't do a practice round like Jordan. Oh my God, there's flames. No, no, it's puppy. It's okay. It's okay if it touches your hand. Oh, I don't like it. No, I don't like it. Do that. Do it. 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 Do yeah, I'll be taking it if you if you did something wrong. Don't You're really afraid to. Uh, don't worry. That's no, okay. no, 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 no. Just don't try anything like this. You can do that. You, can do that. you can do that. I promise. Try it. No. Just think of it as the practice. No. You can do that. Ah, don't be scared. But why the rope for this one so short? Yes, it's short. Oh, she's getting it. Don't panic. She's getting it. <laughs> now she's enjoying it. <laughs> That's be careful. That's be careful. And that's the clothes of it. That's it. Beautiful. The fireworks. Wow. Oh, that's so fast. <laughs> wow. The fire dancing. It's really beautiful. They're just dancing. <laughs> was the best way to end our trip to the Philippines and why I'm still in such high spirits about it. Of course I wish things had gone differently, but I am still very grateful for all the wonderful experiences we shared and all the people we met along the way. And I hope this video still encourages you to visit this amazing country, but at least that you're more prepared than I was. On that, I will end this video and I guess I'll see you next time, Philippines. Actually, I thought the video was gonna be about the like things not to do in the Philippines, things that might affect maybe the culture, or the way the people interact. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it would be about uh, the travel guide. It's like a travel guide, travel guide video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting that, <laughs> but it was still nice anyway. It was still amazing. Yes, Lots so. of information. But what I can't get wrap my head around is why do they always advise that you leave Manila, like? When we always advise that you don't stay in Manila, I would like to know what you people think about that. Why? I guess, you know, my opinion, because maybe they're like, okay, there is no beaches there like that. You just need to explore the uh, beach. Yeah, the if that's what you're going for, then there's no point staying in Manila. But why go for just that? Why not explore the whole? I mean, if you are there, you are there, yeah? Why not mm -hmm. just explore it before leaving? Maybe mm -hmm. for like a day or mm -hmm. half a day and then exactly. move on to your next point. Personally, I don't think there's any reason why you shouldn't. 
That's my opinion. Maybe they're anyway. like, there are 7,500 Italians. You don't have much time, you need to just explore <laughs> them. <laughs> you want to explore the whole 7,500, um, 7,100 and something. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You want to explore that, it will take a lifetime visiting the whole islands. <laughs> it's not possible in just a few weeks or few or one month of visit. Alright guys, thanks Thank for you. watching. Thanks for the request. Like, make comment. Sure, make sure to subscribe. I will see you all later. later.